Hey what's up guys, Cody here with C3D TV and today we're going to take a look at the AlphaWise U20 3D printer. This printer was sent to me as a review unit directly from GearBest, but here at C3D TV we only offer our honest opinions and will not hold back giving any criticism to anything we review. If something is negative we will be sure to let you guys know if we don't like it and we're not afraid to do that. Uh, if it's great, we're also going to let you guys know that. So let's get started. To start off, let's get into what this printer has to offer. The build volume of the U20 is 300 by 300 by 400, which is the exact same as the original CR10. This printer also comes with the filament runout sensor and a power loss resume function. The build plate on this printer is removable and it is a piece of glass with an AlphaWise branded build tack type surface. I am a pretty big fan that it is removable and the build tech surface seems to be functioning just fine. I do know mileage may vary on those things and sometimes you do want to be careful scraping your prints off. The printer also comes equipped with a touch screen. Personally I'm not a huge fan of touch screens on 3D printers. I prefer to I prefer to stick with the standard rotary dial with an LCD because I feel like it gives you a lot more control of your settings and a lot more menus that you can dive into and really configure your printer and fine-tuned settings. For instance, the AlphaWise U20 touchscreen menu is very basic. It has four button options, one for leveling the bed, two for moving the X, Y, and Z axis, and three for exploring the micro SD card. And the last menu is for loading and unloading filament. When I started the printer and went to level the bed, I was not sure if the printer had an area where I could heat the bed while the printer wasn't printing. Thankfully, I found this under the load filament area, which seemed kind of strange, but after I thought about it, I guess you do want to heat up the nozzle before loading filament, and they just tossed heating the bed under that menu as well. But it was kind of confusing and took me a second. I did notice during the leveling process that the center of the bed does have a small valley, but it wasn't really an issue as the current print is appearing to adhere to the build plate without any problems. If you've dealt with any of the CR10 products, or really a lot of different printers, you're probably used to not having a level bed surface out of the box. And like I said, it wasn't an issue on this printer as the print has seemed to be adhering fine to this build plate. The print that you see running right now is the BMAX test print that was included on the micro SD card. One of the things I did notice with the AlphaWise U20 was they include a lot of test print options. I mean a lot, like two to three menu you know, pages of test prints, probably about 15, maybe even 20 test print options. This is something that I'm a really big fan of because as a brand new user, you don't have to go online and immediately start searching for something after you, after you use the first and only test print that's typically included on an SD card. For the AlphaWise U20, you have options. You have tons of different options. You can print this BMAX. There was, it's great. I, it's something that I actually really appreciate that they included. Um, the only thing that I really can knock this printer for is that there weren't any paper instructions in the box. I didn't plug the the micro SD card into my computer to see if there were any included on it. But I am a big fan of paper ones because I think you should just unbox, get the full experience right there, have the paper instructions, and be able to build the printer without any hesitation or having to go to your computer or anything like that. Overall, this printer has worked straight out of the box and had a very quick and easy assembly. I like to look at each new 3D printer as if it was a brand new person to this hobby. Out of the last four printers I've received, this is the only one that has worked directly out of the box without issue. That is something that I just, I can't emphasize enough, that that is fantastic. This printer is only $299.99 on GearBest regularly. And for it to work directly out of the box without issues, I mean, that should be everything we buy. But like I said, one in four, and this being the only one out of the last four printers, and one of the most affordable out of the last four printers and it has worked straight out of the box without issues that is fantastic this is also the only one that included an actual spool of filament even though it's only 200 grams I hate getting the little plastic baggie with loose filament in there it's not even enough typically I throw it in the trash can I really appreciate the fact that it was a spool 
They also included a spool holder, which is standard. They included snipping tool, scraper, and of course the tools and parts for assembly. The snipping tool and scraper are something that I used to see included in just about every 3D printer box. Now unfortunately it is hard to find. And once again, I like to look at each new 3D printer I receive from the perspective of a new 3D printer user. And having a snipping tool and a scraper included is just one of those things that as a new user you might not think about. But with it being included in the box you realize very quick how much nicer that made the 3D printing experience having those tools. I'm definitely going to be putting the printer through its paces and see how it compares to the CR10 series of printers. So far, out of the box, I think it's a worthy com competitor, especially at the price that I stated of $299.99 on GearBest. Please stay tuned for the final review of the AlphaWise U20, but in the meantime guys, I hope you enjoyed the, my initial thoughts on this printer, and if you have any questions or comments, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. If you guys are interested in picking up one of these, please consider using our affiliate link in the description below. Any purchases made through our affiliate link go directly to supporting our channel so we can continue to bring you guys awesome content. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our channel and liking the video. You guys can also check us out on Facebook. Our group links will be in the description below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.